Hey everybody, the Bong is here ready to give you a brand new Let's Play. Mercenary Saga, Will of the White Lions for the Nintendo Switch. I actually got this game along with two other games in the Mercenary Saga trilogy for around 20 bucks Canadian, which is not bad to get like three strategy RPGs in one package. This was a game I believe that originally came out for phones. But I think it was only in Japan at the time. I don't remember if this was ever up for phones in North America. But you can get this along with other games on the Switch now. It might have been for 3DS too, I don't remember. I guess we'll just do it on normal mode. Why not? Fornia, the Green Continent. Known for its vast expanses and warm climate, the Flare Kingdom stretched from the south to the west. Several smaller countries occupied the southeast and the north. Amongst the smaller countries was the historical Mandoa Kingdom at the southern tip. The current ruler is King Mandoa the Twelfth. Snowy white peaks and shining blue seas have protected them from invasions for centuries. But in recent years, the Flare Kingdom has become imperialistic, conquering other smaller countries. Fearing their impending doom, Mondoa declared war on the small country of Sakrak to the north in a show of might. Though Mondoa had the upper hand, Sakrak's fierce persistence prolonged the war. This situation brings great joy to those who fight for coin, the mercenaries. Many bands of mercenaries fight on the numerous frontline conflicts in order to amass a fortune. But that is the story of the big name, well-established groups. Our story differs in many ways, focusing on the young commander Leon and his troop of but six fresh-faced mercenaries, the White Lions. Oh, that movement looks a bit choppy. Oh, it's you, Leon. How goes it? Not too bad, I guess. More importantly, if any requests come in, Preferably the quick and easy kind. Wow, this guy looks so bored on the right. Look at him. Come now. I would have done them myself if they had. True enough. All we have now is... Let's see. What do you say to capturing Zenon Castle? The front lines bring the most cash. Are you so drunk you're seeing double? Give me something a band of our size can accomplish. That was merely in jest. How about some bandits? For small groups, it'll be for little coin, but it's an easy enough job. A bit of bandit killing, eh? Easy enough, Commander. Claudia, what do you think? We'll be fine against Rabble without Miria and Ronmo. I believe so, too. There you have it, friend. We'll take the request. Right. Good luck out there. So, essentially, this kind of game is like boneless Final Fantasy Tactics. <laughs> the reports say the bandits were spotted around here. Yeah, that's right. Our targets here are the Grand Dax, a small but rising bandit group, or Grundax. They line, line along this here Belko Highway to attack travelers and traders. And even small, the Miriam Ronmel are gone on a separate request. Let me turn that down a little bit. There we go, that's a bit better. We'll have less backup than usual, so make sure you don't forget it. Aye, sir. I'll work hard to cover from Miria's absence. But please don't overwork yourselves, everyone. Of course, Julia. We're relying on your support. Commander Leon, the enemies are in sight. Hold it right there! If you value your lives, put down your valuables and scram. Are you the Grundax terrorizing this place? You don't look like soldiers to me. What are you? I wouldn't normally dirty our names by telling it to the likes of you. But I'll make an exception. We are the White Lion Mercenaries. Surrender now, or die. 
Surrender to you, you rotten mercenary bastards. Let's come on and give our guests a warm welcome. Yes, sir. So much for negotiating. Get ready, everyone. Can you really call that negotiating, Commander? Alright, just defeat all enemies and make sure you don't lose yourself. Alright, I think I'm gonna put Leon right over here. Muller over here. I'll put Claudia over here. And Julia over here. Do the tutorial? No. I know how to play. Okay, can I take a look at the other info right there? Okay, LNR just your your army, then you got the enemies right there. Yeah, what is up with the info here? The number, like the zeros, that must be our aggro. I kinda don't wanna show that. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Anyway, let's just move Claudia over here. So one thing to know is that there actually are hidden items as well. So you actually gotta stand right on them. If you're on the right spot, you'll see something called Investigate appear. You can use that to pick up the item. You also got your skills, which you can level up. But you can also use a lower level version of that skill that works too. You can go into your items and everybody has access to the inventory. So show what I mean, there's a dowsing stone, we'll use that. That reveals secret items. So in other words, it's one right here. Okay, I'm gonna move Julia over here. However, I kind of want to use... Well, I can't use Bless yet. I can, however, use Protection. I'm going to use it on Molar. That will give him a defense boost. Let's see if these uh, scumbags will go for it. Now it's the enemy's turn. You usually counter after every hit, too. Kinda reminds me of Final Fantasy Tactics in that sense as well. Actually, before we do that... Now I can have, uh... Julia use Bless. So you gain some MP after every turn. You don't get a lot. But whenever you get it, you could use a bit. Okay, we can hit this guy. Oh, luckily if you press B to go back, you can adjust your movement too. Unlike Final Fantasy Tactics, where if you move somewhere, you're locked in. We hit this guy too. Yeah. Excellent. Now I'm gonna move you right over here, right on top of where the secret item is. We got a small mana bottle for that. Okay, there are a couple other secret items as well. Unfortunately, they're on the side of the enemy. I think there's another one right here, too. Actually, you know what? I think I'll try to get Claudia over there. Do I throw a stone ready? Yes, I do. It's gonna do weak damage, but it'll still hurt them a bit. I'm 
gonna move you over here right now. Since I know that Leon is likely gonna get some aggro, I want to protect it too. Go grab this item. The buckler. That'll be helpful. In fact, you can actually ch change your equipment right in the middle of battle too. So that'll help him out. Uh, first aid's for 20 HP. Might as well use it. Keep our amounts high, just in case. Oh god, that's still loud. I think the battle music is, like, louder than the rest of the music. Also, the capture card just crapped out, just inexplicably again, which is nothing new. Hold on, maybe I'd rather use a skill? Consecutively slash a target. So, this thing do 20 damage with a 90% chance, 97% chance of connecting. That's 20 damage. Oh! It was just gonna tell me right then and there, so I only did 15. I'm just gonna move you over here. I'm trying to think that Julia has a spear. So that's helpful. Because so I think it gives you a little bit of extra reach on an attack. Wait over here. Hmm, do you have a target? No, you don't. You can shoot over there, but that's not gonna help. Let's keep our healer close. Faint doesn't do a lot of damage, but has a high hit rate. That's really all it's good for. Oh, you're gonna go to a ch do a charge shot, huh? Some good that did ya. Okay, that hurt. Also, it looks like some of our buffs are gone. yours again. There we go. Hopefully we can go get those, uh, secret items. Because sometimes you might kill the enemies too fast. And then you don't get them. Which is kind of stupid in its own right. But sometimes that's how it works. I'll just use rapid attack, why not? This might get the kill. It did get the kill. Because when I practice this, I actually did try to get the other secret item there, and I accidentally killed the enemy on a counter. I didn't want to. A short sword? That's neat. Now I'm gonna move you over here. I know there's a chest over there, but this one's farther away. You have first aid, use it. Do you 
a first date as well? Oh, you definitely do. Actually, I can have you get this. Oh, you have to face the chest to open it. Okay. The heal bottle. Okay, so where's the other uh, secret item? Oh, it's just where that guy, where Muller's going. There, that'll keep me in it. So I want to make sure I get these before I go, ooh, I leveled up. Because unfortunately, you cannot return to these maps after you finish them. Like, once you get done a chapter mission, that's it. Oh, this reaches pretty well. There you go. Enjoy your healing. Right, according to this site I found. So I'm pretty much gonna use that to get to the secret items. Save myself some trouble. I got a quartz. attack from here? No, one space away. Once I get this other chest open, we can go for the kill. It's using aim. That just increases hit percentage. Excellent. We got a soul stone. That's just your basic revive item. If I go for an attack, it's 28 damage. Or I can go for the charge shot, it's just 39. And I got everything, so we can go for the kill. Right in the back. Get wrecked. It only took us 8 turns. Oh, we didn't clear it fast enough, so we didn't get that extra SP. Oh well. I believe you can get some in free battles, too. And that's one more request complete. Shh! Be quiet! Hmm? I know you're over there! Come out now! Heh, <laughs> you got me. Lower your weapons. I won't fight. Nor will I run or hide. Pretty sure you were just hiding. Who are you? An ally of the Grundax? Hmm, now that's a toughie. I guess it all depends on your point of view. What do you mean? In truth, I was about to ask them to let me join. New bandit groups are short on members, so I figured I'd get in no problem. And that's when you lot came around and started fighting them. I wasn't exactly going to go help them since I hadn't joined up, so I just hid and watched from here. Hmm, I see. You should count your lucky stars. Had you joined any sooner, you'd be in the ground right now too. Heh <laughs> you're not wrong. It was a narrow escape. But without the coin to buy food, I just swapped death by sword to death by starvation. Oh, I've had a great idea. Let me ask you something, boss man. What is it? Why don't you let me join your Merc group? From the looks of things, you don't have many members. I'll be of use, I swear. Huh. Look at you turning this into a sales pitch. What'll we do, Commander Leon? It's true I was hoping to expand. Thanks to you, my plans have all been ruined. I won't tell you to take responsibility, but how about doing me a favor? Hmm, I guess I have no reason to say no. Heh <laughs> it's a done deal then. My name is Bastion. 
Thanks for having me, boss man. And Bastion joined the party. Cool. After each battle, you'll be taken to a screen where you can prepare for the next one. You can change character equipment and spend SP on skills. In addition, you can buy items from the shop and save or load the game. <coughs> to start the next chapter, please select Story. Oh, God. Where have they got in the shops, anyway? Okay, we can buy some new stuff. Oh, let's see. What do we want? Okay, at least they tell you if it's going to be better for you or not. You press X to try it on. Like, compare it to your other stats. That's just weapons. You press R to go to the other stuff. You see your bucklers, your helmets, bandanas. Okay, I'll definitely be busy with all this. Wait, magic equipment? Well, I got enough money for it. Shoes made for stealth work. Gives you extra holy resistance, too. That's pretty neat, I guess. Actually, let's, let's not bother with that yet. I might just buy all this crap off-screen to save you time. Uh, you gotta go with characters, I think. Since we just got Bastion, we come with a battle knife. Give you a short sword, which increases your attack power, but lowers magic attack power, hit rate, as well as crit rate. It only goes up by two. I think I'd rather keep him with a knife. I might need to buy a shield for him. We can also take a look at our skills. Now each character, thankfully, has their own pool of SP. So, say if I spend a whole lot on her, it's not going to take away from anyone else. I could go with some extra protection. So you can get some increases to your passive stats, like a mental. Which I'm surely it would affect pretty much your magic. So we'll get that. And yeah, there's certain classes too, so once you get to a higher level, you can switch classes to something stronger. I'll upgrade first aid, we'll get a strength upgrade. Uh, I guess we can go with throw stone, now you can probably use it too. Yeah, up first aid again. As for you, I'm gonna give you aim. Evade arrow. Give you extra hit percentage. I think I'd rather just put that towards charge shot, poison shot, maybe charge shot again. And maybe we'll just aim one more time. Now I can work on your skills. Passive strength increase will always be welcome. I think that'll be it for now. So, we'll save our progress currently. We're not gonna jump into the next chapter battle yet. Also, I just realized that has even been a half hour. Holy crap. Alright, fine. We'll go to the shop and update our wares. But first off, let's get a buckler. Maybe get a leather helmet. We should get one. Some thief shoes might be neat. Do I want to go with thief shoes? Well, we'll try the thief shoes. And now we can't afford anything else. I think you gotta go into here to do it. So these will be better for you. 
Anything that's in red is an increase. Anything that's in blue is a decrease. Keep that in mind. There, now you have a little bit extra defense. For the leather helm. Okay, MPR. I don't know what that is. Either way, it goes down. Oh, I guess it's like... Maybe it's your MP going up every turn? Is that it? Hmm. Like MP per round. That, that might be it. I don't know. I think I'll stick with an axe for you. And you're pretty much good, too. How much are heal bottles, anyway? Oh, right, I'm in the wrong menu, duh. 20? That's not bad. I can buy four more of those. We got antidote herbs if we need them. Uh, maybe we should get two of these. Okay, so you get some like temporary stat ups and you get battle items here too. They give you a lot of items you can work with right off the bat. Pretty neat, I guess. SP reset orbs. If you just want to, like, uh, respect your character, you can do that. I also picked up a quartz. What does that do? Oh, you just sell it for gold. Okay, well, that means we can actually buy another piece of equipment. Okay, not a robe. Maybe a tunic, or maybe I want to get some boots. Maybe no, don't get some boots. You can't get accessories. You're 500 each. Um, I think we're okay with what we have. I guess I could have also given that guy a spear. A Bastion. I'm trying to remember his name. Characters don't seem that memorable yet. Hopefully they will be later on. We can do wild dog hunting. Estimated level 3. So these are just your little free battles. If you want to do those for kicks and giggles. Like use these as an opportunity to like not Claudia, not over there. Claudia, you're better off over here. Julia, you're better off here. Bastion's a level 3, so you can go here. We'll be taking on them green dogs. Not related to that uh, Sega game. What is my, my range on throw stone? I can move forward one more, and I can do it. Sure, just to tick him off a little. They have a lot of HP, though. So that makes me increasingly concerned. Put you on defend. I'm gonna have you do that at least. I'll put on some protection too. I think Claudia might be fine here. I don't know if they can cross the river easily. I 
you can only use defend if you have like a shield equipped. Let's see what they're gonna do. Let's see if this is a good idea to take on this fight yet. Ooh, attack and hit goes up. Oh no. As long as they hang back. Okay, well, we're fine. Oh, you don't have enough for bless. You have enough for another protection. Let me give it to you. Because I don't want them to get any close to doing a lot to us. That only does 15? And that could do up to 20. Oh, we're gonna get a nasty counter attack, aren't we? You don't have enough for rapid attack. Alright, just do a regular one. Put Claudia over here. Okay. Or I'm just not gonna nail him. That's not really gonna do much either. This is a little rough that you pretty much. I mean, because it's a dog. That you had to all gang up on one dog. And still not have enough to take it out. Yikes. Why is that one not attacking? Okay, we can actually start ganging up on this one too. If I stand over here, I could force the dog to maybe go in the middle. And that may not matter in the grand scheme of things. Still don't have enough for bless. going. Why not? One, two, three. I don't really have a shot if I go maybe here. I guess I'll go here. I could go for the poison shot. Yes! It's poison. Oh, that's perfect. That works for me. I didn't... I didn't lose a lot of damage, so I'll just use a level 1. Sometimes it's good to use the lower level 1. Oh, I healed him by mistake. That's a my bad moment. In that case, I'll return the favor. Hey! Muller leveled up, too. Now it's got him facing the wrong way. This is problematic. You did not move. You did. I can steal an item from an enemy. 
That's pretty neat, I guess. Pretty sure you have to be, like, directly against them to do it. Yeah, see? Jeez, even with a block, it did over 30 damage. I think it's because the buff is still active. Yikes. I didn't think it'd be this bad. Here. Make use of your new level up. 27. What will this do? 36. Doesn't even tell you if the enemy even has an item. It only has a 42% chance of connecting. Don't forget it, just go straight for the attack, or strike away a weapon. Ah, uh, but it is a weapon. So it's gotta go. Regular attack. Up to 17. That also does 17, so what was the difference? You did it. Um... No, that's probably too far. Wait, do you not have a shield? Oh, Longblade is two-handed. That explains it. I guess it offers its own defense. Oh, great. Now this one's howling, too. Piss it off a little. Oh, okay, you're gonna need to use first aid on yourself. Again, it's really good that everybody can just make use of the same item inventory, as opposed to, like, every character can only carry their own potions. Which is, you can see in, like, many other kinds of games, like this. Okay, that one's actually not buffed, but still does incredible damage. Okay, the good news is, the rest of the dogs didn't move in. Did I just level up again? Oh, that's, that's sick. Alright, I lucked out with the poison arrows before, let's do it again. Oh, didn't work. Damn. Would it like for that to poison again? Okay, 
You can move in for the kill, can you? Yes. And I dropped a small heal bottle, too. That's real nice. Oh! Oh, that one buffed, too. I think you can redo these battles over and over if you want. So if you ever want to train, you can do that. Oh, man, that's a lot of damage. How many of these can you carry at one time? I don't know. You deserve this more than I do. I gotta try that poison shot again. You know what? I can't complain about getting a level up there. gonna stay in the front. It does only 19 damage and 84% chance. I like those odds. I can put Bash in there to block the enemy. Moving into us. Well, oh, that's going. Leon, you get some help. The rest of the doggos are just hanging back because they don't care. Oh, shit. some serious healing, man. How can I attack it again? Oh, but I'm pretty much out of MP. So I have to use a regular attack. Like a plebe. that. Got it. Well, at least we got a refund on that heal bottle, too. Good, because we're using it right now. If it stays there, Claudia can have a field day with that doggo. No, we'll just do this. Oh, 
I know where to be. I'm gonna put you over here instead. Get that shithead's attention. Missed! How do you miss a dog that's not even looking at you? Doing. Oh, the dog moved. Hey, can Claudia still get it? I gotta level up anyway. I won't complain about a free level up. Alright, we're going to have to bump up the first stage. Oh, over here we'll do. 24. Or we can do 32. 32 is bigger than 24. Mats. Ooh, that might be too close. What if the other one attacks, too? Good dodge. Wait. Yes, this works. I'm still gonna bank on that poison lock. There we go! I don't think poison goes away after a while, either. So that effect sticks around. Here, get some protection. You could really use it. It just lost the buff and then reapplied it on the very, very next turn. Piss off, you animal. Uh, should I just stick around here? I think I get away with that. go right in too. That'll be a kill. Nice. Too bad your heal doesn't target a group. That would've been so great. As long as it stays over there, I just keep taking liberties with it. What if the dog just stays there? It doesn't. It's gonna go for the very first attack it can. But I think its buff is gone? Even though it still hurts like a mofo. Yes, move, please. Rocket's World. Get in there, too. Finish it. Go! Yeah. And we won! It took 13 turns, but we did it!
Found treasure. I don't know if there was any treasure in free maps. Okay, so you still do the same battle again. Looks like more unlock as you do more chapter missions. So, I'll probably be using this spot to, like, build ourselves up as we go. So, in the next episode, hopefully we'll be ready for chapter 2. See everyone, thanks for watching.